Hello and welcome to EPROG Knives. We have on the left the book by Richard Neiman, M9 Bayonet, The Authorized History. The M9 Bayonets. On the top and on the bottom we have modular field knife and the combat utility knives. Okay, let's take these out of the boxes. Okay, here you can see all these knives finally taken out of their boxes or the sheets. And as you can see, we have several different versions here from some of the earliest made to the actual last buck version and also a more recent custom knife made by Joe Hauser. On the left we have a Marto Spain Combat Utility Knife. In the center, a Frobus USA Modular Field Knife. And on the right we have a more recent production buck custom Frobus Blade combat utility knife as well. Using this book by Richard Neiman as a guide, let's look into all of these models more closely. This book here is a rare last batch limited edition hand sign. The story of these knives begins with the Buck 184 Buckmaster made for the Navy SEALs it was extremely heavy, it was heavy duty, had thick blades, serrations on the front, saw teeth, hollow handle, grappling hooks. This thing was meant to be used, but you know, it was really big and bulky, but it certainly is a cool knife and it is the quintessential 1980s survival knife. The Frobus M9 bayonet has its roots found in the Frobus XM29. The XM29 was made in 1986. They only made 55 of these. They were made by Leroy Reamer and Paul Boss heat treated them. This knife of course is extremely rare and I've seen it sell for several thousand dollars. Frobus got the military contract for the M9 bayonet and they produced the M9 from 1987 to 1989 for our military. They made 315,627 of these bayonets. This one, of course, is a later civilian model. Buck started making the civilian model in 1987. This one that we have here is the 1989 model. They made an estimated 3,673 of these between January 1989 and December 1989. This knife weighs 1 pound 8 ounces. That's just the knife without the sheath. The handle is made out of Zytel. The blade was made of 425M stainless steel. Nice knife. This model here that we have isn't for sale yet, but it will be. Keep an eye out for it. Comes with the original sheath. Mark with the Frobus Dolphin back here. Has the Bianchi clip. Comes with pouch. These had a danger don't cut your hand because they were made to cut fence wire with. Now this knife here is a special custom M9 made at the Buck factory I think sometime around 1990, maybe the late 80s, early 90s. And it's unique because it does not have any Buck markings. I got this from a Buck employee. It has a mirror polished hollow grind top edge, all the edges here, and a bead blast blade. I'll probably be selling this sometime soon, so maybe keep an eye out for it as well. It comes with a sheath in the box. The next knife we have is the Frobus International M9 Variation 1. And I've seen a couple of different markings for the Variation 1. The one that we have is marked Marto because it was made in Spain by the company Marto but Richard Neiman's book has 
this knife without marteau, it's just Mark M9. Mark Frobus International on the back. 1 came with the American-made Frobus stamped sheaths. So Frobus had the blades only made in Spain and the rest of this was made in the United States of United States made parts. This M9 is the first variation M9A1. The M9A1 was Frobus International's newly developed M9 model. came with this plastic sheath which was based on the combat utility knife over there. The first variation had made, made in USA patent pending marked on the back. This one's in excellent condition. This M9 here is a 1996 Buck civilian model. It's in good condition. Somebody has two marks here. This one does not have the Frobus markings on the back as these later Buck sheaths did not have. And before I move on, I'd like to point out that the guards were a little different on the earlier versions and on the later versions. Here you can see one made in the 1980s. This one on the side was made in the 1990s. And you can see that the scallop here in an early version and the scallop here in a later version are different. This one's bigger. This one over here is smaller. That's also another indicator of when this knife was made. And I'd also like to draw your attention to the Frobus stamp underneath the blade here on the guard on this knife and on this knife. The Frobus International does not have that marking. Nor does this Frobus. Nor does this later buck. This one however does. And there's a good reason for that. This is the final production year for the Buck Civilian M9 bayonet. This is a very interesting knife. Made in 1997, Buck made an estimated 1,356 of these. Interesting for one reason mainly, and that's that Buck was using up parts, old parts. So this guard is marked Frobus. This one is not marked Frobus. That's because this is an original guard from the earlier years. Now, somebody could have switched these guards out, but that's not what happened here. Take the sheath, for example. You can see Buck was just using up old parts here. That's what they did in 1997. So you have a black sheath, an olive drab strap here, and a black strap up here. See, Buck was just using up various parts that they had laying around in this last year of production. For that reason, it's a very interesting year to collect. The black sheath is marked Frobus here on the back. But, as I pointed out earlier, this sheath is not Mark Frobus. And one thing I'd like to add, we don't know how many of these Frobus Internationals were made. The Buck Knives, we have a pretty good idea of how many they made. Rich Neiman did some fantastic research giving us those numbers in his book. Now, over here, we have a custom M9 bayonet 
made with an original flat top M blade from 1987 to 1989. This is one of the original blades used for the military contract obtained by Frobus. You'll notice that it's not Mark Buck. Joe Hauser made this custom M9 bayonet with micarta and aluminum polished metal pieces. It's really quite stunning. The next knife we have here is the Frobus International Combat Utility Knife. This knife was originally designed for the Navy SEALs called the Combat Utility Knife. The original run, Variation 1, that's not what this one is, it was made in 1991 to 1992 and they only made 458 of those knives. If you come across one made in the United States, it's very rare. This one, however, is a Frobus International Spain version. An unknown amount of these were made between 1990 and 1991. This one was made with 420M stainless steel. A little bit used, but this is really a nice specimen. Made to be removed here and the handle pulled apart. Comes in the newer Frobus International style sheath, which could swivel. This was really innovative for the time. Clicks into place can be easily pulled out by pushing it down on this little lever. And of course while you're wearing it, it can be swiveled for different positions of carry. Really innovative knife. The next knife is the Frobus modular field knife. The one we have here is a fantastic specimen. Between July and November 1991, Frobus made 4,047 of these knives. Mark Pat Penned USA, made by Buck Knives. This knife could be taken apart by unscrewing this end. You can pull the handle off and replace the guard with any of these options. Here are the original instructions from Frobus for the Model 9010 Modular All-Purpose Field Knife. This sheath, same as the previous one I showed you, this one has a Frobus etch on the front. This one is really tight because this knife has very rarely been pulled from the sheath. This one is just in beautiful condition. Comes in the box marked Frobus, model 9010. The final knife we have here is very special. This model you can find on page 452 in Rich Neiman's book. This is a custom combat utility knife. Mark Frobus here. For this one we have the Certificate of Authenticity from Buck Knives, signed by C.J. Buck, Richard Neiman, and Joe Hauser. This knife was part of a really special run of knives made in 2014. The project was coordinated by Richard Neiman and Rick McDonald and Harry Camphausen, both of Frobus. This knife was made from parts made by Rick McDonald and Joe Hauser at Buck Knives. This is serial number two of only 19 made. Comes in this model 655 sheath, which is a great fit.
And there you have it. It's been a while since we've posted on YouTube, so if you'd like to see more of these kinds of videos from us, hit the thumbs up, let us know you like it, and subscribe.